Hello beta testers. The Saints Row reboot is an unparalleled dumpster fire. So, if I told you a Deep Silver Volition employee told fans to quote, die mad, end quote, you wouldn't be surprised. You probably wouldn't be surprised to hear a Deep Silver Volition employee called fans quote, terrorists, end quote, and then protected their tweets. But what if I told you that the employee who did this was also global community manager for Saints Row and that this woman was also responsible for the sales sabotaging haters gonna hate response to criticism. The tweet was hastily deleted of course, a pattern that you'll discover with this global community manager in consistent and never ending failed attempts at damage control. But the internet's not exactly the hug box echo chamber where things go away when I realize that it was fucking stupid like they want it to be. Saints Row couldn't sustain any more damage following the instant and intense disgust that many fans and consumers had at a glance for this polar opposite product to the Saints Row name. But like a true anti-profit saboteur, Deadly Steph answered the call. Anyone? And I absolutely mean anyone keeps review bombing this hard work of a game, I'm going to class you as terrorists. End of story. Hashtag review bomb at Saints Row. Stay mad. Some people out here really think they're above being stood up to by a woman, it would seem. Lol. Getting drunk. Purely. <laughs> getting drunk. Purely because I have to go back to work on Monday. In conclusion, Kev isn't Johnny Gat Light. He's his own thing, has way more backstory and personality. Sorry, Gat fans, I love him too, but he was good in moderation. You got a whole game of him and you hated it. It wasn't like the musicals with Satan or anything. Also, die mad. He is shirtless. Coming from the CEO of Kevin Thirst. I always find it uh, charming how uh, it's fine when I guess the women are CEO of Thirst, but if the men enjoy women, oh my god, the male gaze! Them women better cover up, you know what I mean? Only men can have fun. <laughs> the irony being that the women love titty too, not to mention trans, gay, drag queens, you know, if they had friends, maybe they'd know. Titty to these modern developers, they gotta exclusively target the feminine models and reduce and remove. That's what they did with this reboot. Reduce the variety and shape options that women had. Remove jiggle physics when your decade old entry had it. Rim jobs, freckle bitches. Uh uh, gotta tone that down. That's what everybody loved. I'm afraid the insecure, flat chested drunks at Deep Silver Volition are explosively indicative of the woke echo chamber of dweebs developing games these days that are eager to sabotage any product in the name of their failed attempt at a dated lesson. They gotta educate. And that's going to piss off anybody who bought a game to be entertained. And they do this because they're sad, lonely, miserable, easily demonstrated in the tantrums that you're constantly seeing them on before, as mentioned, they hastily delete them and then oh, protect their tweets so that nobody can get them. It's almost like as a community manager, they should be interacting with the community in, you know, uh, look, you know what? Doing your job. You expect me to do my job? You and me saying this if I wasn't a woman! Conflating valid criticism to sexism? Check. Making baseless claims that of course they can't so they don't prove just to run away and then lock their tweets? Check. This person represents Deep Silver, Saints Row, and by extension Embracer Group. And if this is the kind of unprofessional behavior to be expected, of any of those other money-burning studios, pretty sure it's a holy hell nah from the investors or shareholders. Their bio says, imagine a witch who's also a hooker. Imagine a view of yourself so basic that it's available in like every Halloween aisle in a dollar store. Senior global community manager of Saints Row Deadly Steph 
has been caught going as far as to blacklist terms like community manager in her ongoing failed attempt at damage control. Remember, the hill that they've chosen to die on is defending this Jurassic Park without the dinosaurs that Volition could have named anything but chose to call Saints Row because they needed to trick the consumer out of their money. They weren't talented enough and knew it to sell anything by any other name. CEO of Embracer Group Lars Wingefors was shocked by the terrible reviews and polarized reception for Saints Row, but nigga, that's just it. This is Saints Row in name only. Unfinished, dated, cheap, poorly written, barely functional, doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of this game that still was a turd after a six month delay. For this psycho, scared, sad, salty struggle of a community manager to be calling fans who disagree, quote, terrorists, end quote, who need to get a life and die mad? You're saying haters gonna hate? Thankfully, a man was on deck to delete that. They were smart enough to understand that you shouldn't speak to people who you're trying to sell something to this way. But before running away and protecting her account, she was the one claiming that dislikes were inaccurate because she had access to the account and it didn't match up. In true bonehead fashion, forgetting that there were multiple accounts that were posting videos on Saints Row, many of which had majority dislikes as far back as the reveal. Oh, but you can't prove anything you're saying? As your gatekeeping, who is and is not a true fan of Saints Row? If these losers had any love in their life, they'd know through parenting that if you keep your child from doing something too hard, the first thing they'll do when they have the opportunity is exactly that. I've watched them maintain the strict, exclusively positive praise of Saints Row mentality in the echo chamber that is the Discord and on the main subreddit. But let me tell you something. Screenshotting's my middle name, and I'm gonna teach everybody to do it as well. I'm overjoyed watching normal gamers, fans, consumers speak up when a great product is compromised by misguided development that thinks that they need to fix what isn't broken. The audience in cases like this is giving you a golden ticket to just hit more of the same. But uh, no, they gotta reinvent that wheel and they're gonna lose money for it. Recognize people will never fall for this from volition again. With, with this studio acting the way that it is now especially, people are gonna remember this. You're already on sale. And I can take that as an indication that if pff, this reception was bad, you can't handle voice. Even with how cheap the production must have been, when I looked up some of the songs used in this game, to find that many of them had less than a hundred listens, I was impressed, but I wasn't shocked. When echo chamber illiterates in the cult that is the saliva-soaked helmet strap. You, you're you kidding with the Discord and the Reddit because of course banning that many people was just gonna make them louder. And please let me spell out the tragedy for you. Even if Saints Row didn't have the bugs, the crashes, the developers and managers with frothing mouths, Saints Row struggles to pass for below average. The writing isn't bad, it's literally the worst. And in the greatest technicality of all time, uh, weighing in the situation surrounding this game, Saints Row Reboot is the funniest game of all time. CEO of Embracer Group Lars Wingefor, I hope the punchline hurts enough to teach you a lesson. This woke shit is turning your biggest audience off. People want entertainment, not failed attempts at education. They want to unwind and have fun, not see some censored, sanitized, safe, politically correct trash. I think antagonizing people for having functional eyes and actual taste is a great way to forfeit business to literally anyone. This woman made a fool of herself and the like-minded dweebs at the out-of-touch and tone-deaf studio Deep Silver Volition. She could dish it, but couldn't take it. She couldn't stand the heat, so she got out of the kitchen. 
Saints Row 2022 is so bad, it's causing consumers to coordinate. Stop pre-ordering things, waiting for reviews. They're screenshotting habitually angry little people having their meltdowns and trying to delete the evidence. Habitually! It happens so consistently, we can set our watches to it. We screenshot because we expect them to try to rewrite history. That's not what I meant. Damn, we terrorists though for that. Did you just screenshot that? You don't agree with me? Bigot. Sexist. They're documenting the childish and unacceptable hate-filled behavior to warn off people from future swindles from these talentless woke activists pretending to be game devs that are diversitying their way up your ladders. Ooh, you phobe. Oh, when after a six month delay and fighting your fans and new game functions worse and offers less than a decade old entry did rest in piss. Embracer, some people don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't snort shit up when they want to unwind and chill out. They play a video game. That's their good time and the few moments they have when they're not fucking with work or fucking with the kids. You know what I'm talking about? This is their escape. They role play, they live a life like they never could. Whether they're man or woman, black or white, you know what I mean? Gay, straight, of course they love titties and ass. Ask any artist. And they'll tell you what there's what's never in short demand. Players want to push boundaries and be weird, degenerate, man. Do shit in a game that they couldn't do in real life. In fighting games, we go, hell, we're going to beat the shit out of this guy. We're going to beat his ass bloody. Rip this dude's spine out. Oh, pick that girl character. Get them titties shaking. Ooh, get a Grand Theft Auto game and drive down the sidewalk. You know, just see how the bodies impact the car. You know, you're a sick fuck. You're like a quick fuck. Maybe try to catch one of these on the hood and see how long you can keep the body on the hood. In Saints Row Reboot, the developers are so stupid that they've programmed the pedestrians to all immediately jump fully out of the way at any vehicle driving towards them. The Saints Row Reboot developers likely intentionally sabotage their own game because that's nicer than saying that they're so incompetent that they couldn't program a game where when you exit a vehicle, the door doesn't injure your character. I can't talk about Saints Row, my nigga. The things that I would say are facts. And telling the truth doesn't just apparently make me a hater. It makes me a terrorist. According to Saints Row community manager, Deadly Steph. Guess what, though? I can't exit a vehicle in Saints Row Reboot without taking damage because it was so poorly designed that the two things that you do most, in your words, shooting and driving, are worse executed than in a decade-old entry. The two things you do most. In, in a mechanic like shooting and driving, right? The, the two things you're going to do the most in the game. Right. Shooting and driving, right? The, Two things you're gonna do the most in the game. Right. It's in good hands, and it's just a matter of wait and see. We promise you, like, we're, we're doing, you know, right by it. I love the night and day difference between Grand Theft Auto's big booty curvy Latina with cute walking and confident strutting animations. In Saints Row Reboot, this is what they got them looking like. Yeah, sell those copies. And you better believe they all walk like they have rods firmly up their asses. But they're not as experienced as Deep Silver Volition. So, you know, they, they can't walk like they're, you know, like it, does, like it doesn't even bother them. You know what I mean? 